All right. Hello, everybody. Um, I just wanted to make a video and talk about the matrix and talk about the matrix phase. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of questions on kind of how it all works, uh, how you can make time strands, how does it refill. So let's go over that right now. At the beginning of your turn during the matrix phase, you're going to get two actions. Uh, with an action, you can swap any two disks as long as they have the same symbol. Uh, there is a X, a circle, and a, and a triangle. Um, on your turn, um, you, what you're trying to do is you're trying to create time strands of four or five matching colors in a row or a column. Um, you're trying to, whenever you make a four or a five in a color, uh, they immediately are removed from your matrix and you're going to earn energy discs uh, for the number, uh, or for the size of the time strand that you made. So by making a four time strand, you'll earn one energy disc of that color. And if I make a five time strand, I'll earn two uh, energy discs that I may spend on timeline cards, or in the case of black and white, uh, can be spent in past, or they can be spent to repair the universe. Um, so let's go ahead and just talk about a quick match. Um, you see here I can make a four times strand white here because I swapped two X's uh, and you make a white and I'm going to earn one white resource. Uh, I have to spend this resource now. Um, I can't refill my grid and then decide to place it. I have to place it now. I can place it on oh, uh, this pass card here or as black and white can be used. I can use it to repair a fractured world, or I can use it to place a shield on a world. Um, shields are there to protect your worlds. Uh, Quake lands on a shield, the shield is removed. Uh, but I won't go into that too much, but just so you understand how black and white is used in multiple places. Uh, you refill your grid, uh, your matrix from the bag, and um, I'll explain that here, how you refill in a second, but I just wanted to kind of rewind this match back. And I think this came from over here in the corner. So as you can see, you can make an easy match, but it's kind of about looking a little bit deeper to see how you can make uh, more efficient matches. So for one of my actions, I can swap this X and this X. And if you see here, I have a white X and a blue. And now I've actually made three matches at once. I went ahead and I made a blue match, which will clear out. And I'll earn one blue resource that I may spend. But I also made a T here. And it's when you place the intersecting piece of multiple time strands, you can score those time strands. So I place this piece triggering a four this way and a four this way. So both of these four time strands are gonna give me one resource each. So I am going to get two white resources. And I could go ahead and spend them on the past and complete it. Um, your matrix drops. And now I wanna go ahead and explain kinda of how you refill your matrix. Um, we do have a rule. It's not strict, but it's there to keep uh, everyone honest. So they're not just placing uh, discs wherever they feel it's going to benefit them. So the rule is to always fill the lowest row first, then left to right. So we're going to go lowest row, left to right. We got a lot of black and yellow here and red. All right, so I kind of showed you there how you can make a regular match. I showed you how you can make a T, and also I showed you how that you could set up to make two matches at once. Um, so what I, the last thing to show you is how to make a um, an L or an L bow, I guess you should say. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cheat a little bit to try and get uh, this set up. So everything I'm doing is completely illegal. All right. 
So the last kind of uh, match that, that you'll see being made is uh, what we call an L or an elbow. And that is when you go ahead and I can swap this red circle with the black circle. And I have created kind of an L here. I triggered a five this way and I triggered a four that way. Uh, it can be a four and a four. Um, it can be a five and a five. Um, most of the time you see your double fives as a T or a cross out here. Um, it's, it's very hard to make a, uh, a, a double five or any type of five uh, in an L. Uh, so these would all clear out and I would get three resources, two for the five and one for the four. Um, what I do want to explain is what happens when you refill your matrix or your matrix drops let's kind of break this up here a little bit when you refill your matrix or your matrix drops and it already kind of makes a uh, a time strand so let's say that I had uh, I just made a match and I go over here I dig into the bag and I pull out four white right in a row these do not automatically score um, you will have to spend an action in order to collect this. Um, you have to make the time strand yourself. Um, so whenever, uh, whenever you make a match uh, and you either refill in a time strand or it drops into a time strand, uh, it doesn't score. You have to spend one of your action points to collect it. Um, in this case, I could spend the one action just to collect this and get the one white resource. Um, if I did have the white plus on my board, I'm gonna go ahead and cheat there. If I did have this white plus, I would just go ahead and spend that one action just to make that a five. All right. The way we do that, the reason why we do that is so that it doesn't kind of cascade and the players have a long time of digging in the bag, placing chips, and it can take a little bit of time. And we want to reduce the amount of time in the game. Uh, uh, as much as possible. Um, those are kind of how the matrix works. Um, now I don't want to go too deep. There's some more tricks in here, but I want you guys to discover those. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to take some photos of a couple of matrix and maybe put them up on BGG and give you like uh, two or three actions and just see uh, if you can solve the puzzle. Uh, so look for those and uh, use any of the tips I kind of gave you here to see if you can solve any of those uh, puzzles I put up. All right, well, thank you very much.